Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here on a very overcast and much cooler Monday morning. Yes, it's about a 20 degree temperature drop from the other day. It's only 76 degrees. Very overcast. I, I don't know if it's supposed to rain or not. It feels like it's going to, but whatever. I know it's supposed to tomorrow and Wednesday. It's supposed to be pretty shitty. Hopefully those are the two worst days of the week. And then the rest of the week is just supposed to be cloudy and, and in the like the 70s and low 80s. So much more tolerable, which I'm all for. Don't get me wrong. I said I would complain about the warm weather, especially after having left Chicago because of minus 55 degrees. But, you know, there's there's only so much you can take when it's like almost 100 and sweltering every day. And lately, that just keeps getting worse and worse. So, you know, you win some, you lose some, like I said the other day. Anywho, so I have been sort of getting things all pared down and trying new things out and getting rid of old shit and da-da-da-da-da. Hence the new setup and the Forerunner because the old one just turned to shit. And I'm very much enjoying this. This is so much simpler now and so much easier, and I think the footage looks great, considering it's coming out of an action cam, and again, it's just so much easier, it's such a much, much easier flow, that I'm all for it. The one thing I don't like to have to do all the time is the road wireless go of constantly having to charge them and, and make sure that I have enough, and I, I've got extra USB-C cables in here so that I can charge shit when it needs it, but it's still kind of a pain in the ass. And, you know, therein lies the rub with any technology is that you got to have power. And more power means bigger batteries. Bigger batteries mean more weight and more heat and blah, blah, blah. So you kind of take what you can get. So obviously I'm using the Rode Wireless Go 1 with this whole setup as it's a little bit easier. I thought about using the Rode Wireless Go 2 because I do have that second transmitter and I don't even have to have anything hooked up to this. I basically just have to have that one transmitter that I would turn on the always recording. But the problem is, is that it's always recording and it's a pain in the ass to go through and find the right pieces of the audio to go with the footage, especially if you're like me and you don't film continuously the entire day. There's no way I'm scrubbing through that much footage. It's bad enough with, with what I do. And remember, I've said it before, and I won't stop saying it, you guys watch a 10 minute video, that's like five hours worth of footage. I film shit all day, constantly, not constantly, but you know what I mean. I'm always filming stuff, and most of it is just garbage, and I get rid of it anyways. But you still have to go through all that, and it takes time. So I used to think, oh, I can freaking shoot a quick video, you know, like a quick five to seven minute video. You know, I can have that shit. It won't even take me 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, no, that doesn't work that way. Lots of footage to scrub through, lots of shit to line up, lots of different places to cut, lots of stuff lost because it didn't, like, I, I don't know, because I rambled at the wrong spot and I didn't quite give myself enough of a gap to cut it and it's you know, a horrible cut. You know what I mean. If you do this, you know what I mean. So, you know, kind of hitting all the spots there of trying to just make this a lot easier and less annoying and just flowing nice and easy. Now, already, the one issue that I said was going to be an issue is this magic arm. The magic arm keeps loosening and it'll sag down and it'll tilt. And there's nothing I can do about it. I, like, I just, I don't see any way for me to fix that. It's almost impossible to do it because I need to see where it is in reality. When I put it up there and try to tighten it down, I can't pull the whole mechanism down, tighten it, and then put it back up there because inevitably I'll tighten it and it's going to be in the wrong spot. It won't be in the right direction, this, that, and the other thing. Then I got to loosen it to move it anyways. So for now, because I've loosened the, the little joint where the action cam connects to the base, or at least the, you know, the way I have it set up on the peak design plate, 
So what I've done is I've loosened that up enough so that I can at least tip the camera and sort of move it where I need it to go. And, and that seems to be working because it looks like I've got enough room between my melon and the overhead here. And, you know, I'll kind of take it, but sometimes it moves down and all of a sudden I realize it's, it's not even getting the top of my melon and I gotta, I gotta adjust it again. So like I said, when I installed all this crap, that the magical arms were going to be the weak spot, especially the small rig magical arm because of the way that everything had to be connected to it. And, and it's just got the, you know, everything's a, a screw in and sometimes it screws in and it just doesn't screw in so that it's in the right spot. And then you got to loosen shit again and move it again, you know, so pain in the ass, but so far, so okay. Again, I've got to keep an eye on it. I got to stop saying again too. I, th I think I've said it already like 40 times. Also, and I'm sure my wife is thrilled about this and I mentioned it to her yesterday. I bought a fanny pack from North End Bag Company. Hands down, their bags are just amazing and we just seem to not be able to stop buying them. So we both have several. And the, the reason that I like them is because they're that really tough canvas that's pretty much waterproof. And the fanny pack even says that it's, it's you know, water resistant and this, that, and the other thing that just makes it perfect for me when I go into the woods. And sometimes when I just run out, I don't want to carry my big, big ass bag here. It's perfect for me when I go into the woods, though, because I don't carry, huh, I don't carry a lot of stuff. That's a joke. I don't carry the big ass bag. I don't go in with a big backpack. I don't carry three phones with me and all that shit. I go in there with one phone. So in case I fall or hurt myself or, or something like that, or there's an emergency, I have a phone and obviously I have my car keys and, and my wallet and all that kind of stuff. That stuff can stay in my pockets, but, but more or less, it's just to carry a few small essential items. And I don't want to have another strap that goes across my shoulder because you know why, because then it irritates my back and my neck and all that kind of shit. And I don't give a shit what anybody says. I like fanny packs. They're freaking convenient as, as all hell. And I just, you know, I don't have a problem with it. Everybody else around me has a problem. Thank Zeus, I don't give a shit what anybody else thinks. And that includes my queen because she busts on me all the time for wearing fanny packs. If I'm not gonna take her seriously, why would I take anybody else? All right, so I just pulled up to North End Bag. I don't know, I might actually go in and, and get a coffee, uh, you know, because I only had a cup of coffee this morning, so I might get something from Three Ships since they're right next to each other. But uh, for now, let's go get a new fanny pack. Fanny pack, gotten. And I didn't realize it was all padded and nice and cushy, even better. I bought an insert on Amazon that'll go inside here just to give it a little bit more cushion. Again, I didn't realize it had the padding in there, but I'm going to be putting at least a phone in there. So I want to make sure that it's protected and that I have other little compartments uh, just to keep things separate. So that should be here tomorrow and I'll be wearing this all the time now. The other thing, bean has been gotten. So now we are going to head home, unfortunately. I'm expecting a, another package, a FedEx package, and that hasn't been delivered yet. Oh, and I forgot. So I showed you that I bought the new Samsung Buds Pros, which by the way, are freaking amazing. Wow, the sound coming out of those is, is really awesome. But I had the old Samsung Buds that I basically traded in. I mean, they gave me 50 bucks off for trading an old, an old headset in, or you know, whatever, old wireless headset. So uh, I need to send those back, which also not only did I get 50 bucks off for those, but I also got 20 bucks off for being a vet. So I got 70 bucks off of, you know, a brand new pair of Samsung Buds Pros and hell yeah. Thanks, Samsung. So I, anyways, uh, what they do is they give you a label and you print out the label and then I like just put your you know, the stuff that you're sending back and the box that we sent you the new stuff in. So it makes it convenient. I didn't have to freaking go out and buy a box and all that shit. I just had to wrap them up, throw them in there, put the paperwork in that they provided and tape it up and go drop it off at FedEx. So we're going to go do that on the way back because it's just right up the, you know, right up on, um, well, it's just right up there. And then we'll go back. And by the time I'm done doing all that shit, it'll be almost time for my first call of the day. My actual first call, as usual, got moved till after the second call. So I'll be on the phone for two hours and having fun.
and then I'll just be sitting there all day doing day job bullshit. So, yay. All right, that's enough. All right, kids, couple of firsts. One, I shot everything today on the Insta360 RS, including in the studio for the final wrap up. Two, that's the first time since I've gotten this thing that it froze. So I turned it on, I clicked record, the screen went black, the blue light came on, not the flashing red light to tell me that it was recording and it just stayed that way. So I had to pull everything off, giggity, get it out of the case and disconnect the battery. And then it started right up. So, you know, not a problem. Okay, so it has been a long, busy, typical Monday. My calls got a little bit rearranged so that they were all in the afternoon. I had 12 and then one instead of 10 and then 12. So I was on the phone for a while, not to mention before the calls, I was already talking to some of my coworkers. And then even after the calls, you know, because that's all we do is talk to each other. Enough about day job. The point being is that I've been doing day job stuff all damn day. I was either on the phone or I was out running around getting shit. So I just choked down my dinner whilst I was still running my reports that I need to do for this week. And I emailed those off. So I'm done with day job work, but it's 10 to eight and I hadn't finished even filming. Now I have to edit. So I'm going to make this really quick. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like, and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.